Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is gonna be for those that wanna put their DJI controller two, right? Back into regular mode. So right now it's stuck in manual mode, all right? And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you probably wanna put it back there, right? So that it just stays there automatically, but actually it does that. That's for when you're flying in FPV, manual mode. Um, you, it has to be down in that position so that um, the throttle, once, once the throttle is there, the drone's just gonna go, go up. So anyway, let's put it back into regular mode because maybe manual mode was not for you. And um, just so you can have the regular F drone flying, I was about to say FPV, but regular drone flying experience because you wanted to do, see that? You wanted to do that. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here's the remote controller too. We want to put it back into manual mode. So what you're gonna to want to do is flip it over. And you see this side matches that side. See this side, that side left, but it's gonna be the right. So the left stick is here, but you're gonna flip it over. So that's on the right. Then you're gonna need a tool. If, the, if not a tool, you can also use your, I believe it can be done by hand. I, I, I but you know, if, if you're not that handy, you can just do this. Get a little tool like that. It's like a little prior. I'll leave a link in the description below or anything, you know, you have lying around your house. It doesn't have to be this. For me, this just works really well because I don't have, you have to just pry, it, you might think it's glued shut, but it's not. Just pry it, right? So that you get it under and then just flip it out. Okay. See, voila, then it pops out. You won't, you can't break it but you just have to be really careful with it. And if you look closer, you'll see you have F1 and F2. It's a little bit hard to see, um, but the trickiest part will be which screw to use. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a, um, I believe it is, um, let's see. I'm gonna try 1.5 or actually here on this set. Let's gonna try either a T6 or T7. Hmm, a little bit tricky, but doable. All right, T6 or T7, let me just get a light. A little more light. And we're gonna try T6 first. Okay, too bad they don't tell you. T6 actually looks a little bit too big. Oh, actually not. Let's see, it's turning. Oh yeah, so it is T6, I got lucky. All right, so we're gonna connect this to that. That made it tighter, really tight. Okay, so we're gonna wanna loosen it. So unscrew this. And once that's open, put this in. Okay, and then we screw it on. So remember, we just made it tighter. So we're gonna turn it the other way to loosen it. Okay, because we don't want it tight. And you'll see, this is F1, okay? That might be a little too much, but we'll see. And you can tell because the screw's starting to raise up, which is fine, you can't break it. See, got a little bit of spring action back, right? Okay, that's F1. Tighten it a little bit. Not a lot. One, two, three, four, five. You decide because remember, each remote is made differently. And as you can see, it went down a little bit. So let's see. No, we don't want that. Okay, so that was tightening it. Now we're gonna loosen it again. You know, it's a little bit tricky, but doable. Oh, there we go. That looks about right. Loosen it a little bit more. And you wanna make sure that the screwdriver you're using is magnetic. Um, that looks all right. Maybe tighten it a little bit. See, it's, it's, it's all preference, right? Not really leave that like that. Now with this one, right? There's gonna be F2. Hopefully, 
right? This is long enough to actually go in there. And believe it or not, it is. So now, turning it this way, see which way I'm turning it that way towards the soldering iron. And I think, and then pull it out. Look at that. See that? And now I am back to regular mode. Maybe FPV wasn't for you. Maybe, you know, it, it you know, just didn't work out like it did for me. You know, I, I like it. It's fun. It was a good experience, but you know, similar tension. You can adjust the tension accordingly, but you know, this works well. Um, yeah, you, you can get them to match by just reconfiguring it. Okay, but that's it. Now you're back to the normal state. Okay, so in this part of the video, we're going to reverse um, this re remote and turn back the settings so that we can go back into regular mode. You don't want manual anymore manual mode okay uh so we're just gonna turn the settings back so we're gonna make sure everything is sunk back together most likely it is because if you made it this far and you took a test flight everything is bound okay um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your goggles right and you should see whatever your goggle sees or whatever the uh um avada sees right so we're gonna go I just need to see what's happening. It's better this way than to have the video like this. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go, yeah, it works, but I just, you know, this way you can see me and I can see you. All right, so go into settings, right? And go into, whoops, control. Okay, remote control. And we're going to start with, um, you could leave the double tap turtle mode, leave that because that's, oh, that's for everything when you drove tips over. And the C1 for um, beeping, leave that. So we're gonna go back up to the top, right? And um, see where it says M mode, altitude limit? That's it, guys. It was fun while it lasted. See ya. Turn that on, okay? Now we're gonna go back into button customization. Go down to the bottom and see custom mode, right? Select it, sport mode. Nothing wrong with being sporty. Sporty works well, uh, it's just not for everyone. It wasn't for me, I like it, I experimented with it, occasionally I go back into it, but you know, I like regular mode. I actually love flying with this thing. So you're not alone, look at that. It's the best, my kids love it too. Um, Yvonne is actually theirs now. They're like, can we fly the drone? Like, sure, sport mode. And now that you're in sport mode, and you know how you know you're in sport mode, because if you look down at the bottom, right, see that? It says sport mode. And that's it. You are regular again, um, which is great. And that pretty much sums it up for sport mode. All right, so. Let's say you want to go into manual mode, okay? Um, so you open up the back, okay? You're gonna have F1 and F2. So you're gonna have the screwdriver. And remember, in this screwdriver set, it was actually T6. T6 did the trick, all right? And so then, see, we got spring-loaded action in there. Well, we want it to drop, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here and then we're just gonna tighten it. Not tighten it, but turn it that way. Yeah, maybe tighten it. Turn it that way and you see it dropped. See that? It dropped down. So no longer it goes back up, okay? So now we're gonna go to F1, which is right there. And we brought it up, but we're gonna just bring it down. So we're gonna basically turn it the other way, okay? And this will get you ready for manual mode again. Maybe you change your mind. Maybe you're like, you know what? I really want to 
go back into manual mode. And there it is. See, it's stuck in the position and that's what you want. But as for the tension, you know, you have to decide which tension is right for you based on your flying skills and experience, um, you know, what you want, but you still want the spring, you know, that's always going to be spring loaded action. For me, I'll probably adjust this because it's a little bit too tight, a little, and you don't want it too tight. So what I'll do is I'll just turn it like that. Mm, that's, that's like, that's too loose. So again, you just adjust F1 for the tension on how much you want, maybe one turn. There's no, there's no set, that's too loose. There's no set amount of turns. It's based on what you want and what you feel is right for you, but you don't want it to be too loose and you don't want it to be too tight because, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Cause I see a lot of guys, they fly like this. They just, they just tap it. Right. And the, the smallest, and you want it to hold sometimes in the throttle mode because you don't want it to go back up. Otherwise the drone's just going to go whoop. That's it. It's gone. Where did it go? This thing does fly like a bat out of hell, so you gotta be careful. Uh, when you're going into sport mode, you're assuming the responsibility of whatever happens, okay? And it's risque, it's fun, it's adventurous, it's, uh, it's heart throbbing, uh, your heart rate will go up, but it's fun, it's experimental, and you do feel like you're in control. The trouble is getting control, okay? So knowing that and moving forward, you're ready to lose control to get control. All right, so moving forward, we're gonna go into settings, okay? Control and remote controller. See that? And you're gonna most likely C1, ESC beeping, so that when the remote flip, uh, you, you lose your Avada, right? You can um, do the key, toggle it down, and it'll go beep, 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 you want that. All right, and now, I was about to use my keyboard to scroll down, I can't do that. All right, so now, C1 double press will be turtle mode, and you want that. See that? Um, I'm, I'm not sure what you see by default, but you want turtle mode so that when this thing flips over, uh, you'll see in one of my videos where I, I experimented with manual mode, I, the drone was on the other side of the fence, the Avada, and I couldn't get in, and I couldn't climb the fence because it was a mesh uh, on climbable. And so basically the only thing to do was activate turtle mode, and I just double tap and it worked really well. It was my first time using turtle mode um, and probably the last time. So you have turtle mode selected and you know it's selected if you go here, as you see, it says turtle mode. Okay, and the last part, what you wanna do is go to gain and exposure, ready? Go scroll down to the bottom, don't mess with the settings and mode altitude limit, that's it. You're ready to dive in. Dive in and go full on manual mode. Turn that off. Confirm, and that's it. You are in manual mode. Um, if you're interested in knowing how to fly in manual mode, you can watch my video. Don't fly like me, because as you can see, I still need flying lessons in a simulator. I can still fly, but um, this is just for the sake of knowing what to do and how to activate manual mode when you're in the air. It's fun, I have to say, and you will like it if you make it this far, but if it's not for you, you can just go back to this video and put everything back. And that is pretty much it. So now you're ready to go. Your remote control receiver is in manual mode. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And remember to subscribe. And if you have any ideas for other videos, please do share. And I'll see you all next time.